Welcome to the Whiskey Vaults. I'm Daniel. I am Rex. And Daniel, one thing has been sorely lacking mm. on this channel for way too long. Pip and Vim. My knees. Oh yeah, you're right. So, so I, should we, were you supposed to wear shorts today? I didn't get the memo. It's like, do you own shorts? I, yeah, I wear shorts all the time, just not on campus. All right. Uh, yeah, we're just slightly different angle. Mixing it up kind of without really trying. <laughs> Yeah, let's make a big dramatic change. Weren't we supposed Those to announce this? From there. Have a countdown clock. <laughs> to there. <laughs> and they call it new. Oh, by the way, I found the little baby knife and I've, brought it back here. Have we not done this? Like the court well, no, seems no, no. familiar? We haven't. Yeah, we did this last week and it was um, Wilderness Trail. And we did it during a Rare Whiskey Friday. But we didn't do this one, which is their bottled and bond release. Okay. And this is what they did. So I don't know if you remember the story. But they're like these guys in Kentucky who were started a story but didn't want to source and spent four years woodshedding on their own stuff or something like that. Anyway, okay. they did sort, but they didn't. This this is theirs. Okay. And this is the first stuff they released of theirs. What's funny is I'd not really ever heard of Wilderness Trail, but I'm not really into bourbon as much as I am into scotch. So when we post those videos and we're like, this one's not as common as as at least in Texas. Right. Everyone in the comments is like, what the. Right. What is this doing on Rare Whiskey Friday? Right. This is available everywhere in the world. Right. Are you waiting for me to smell because I'm going to find that thing that I dislike? No. I'm just... I don't know. It smells I'm good. I'm just quietly suffering through the number of times that you say you don't really like bourbon as much as you like scotch. Yeah. And then all the bourbon lovers were like, oh. <sighs> that... I'm allowed to have opinions. I'm no, not saying they're you bad. You can't have opinions. Yes. Yes, this is I a, can. a review show free of opinion. Yeah. This is <laughs> That's objective is. fact. Uh, no, you can talk to Chrissy Martin. She's I like, serious. I like bourbon more than you. I've got a, you do. I've got a lot of friends who really love bourbon that I trust, and I always just ask them because they know my preferences. Yeah. And they, they usually recommend stuff that I actually like. Ooh, I got a little bit of the wood burning kit. Oh, by the way, this is from Magnificent Bastards, mm -hmm. Rebecca Cherry, and Michael Ragsdale. Rebecca Jerry and Michael Regdo, you magnificent bastards. That was clean. That was like, that was pretty clean. Yeah. Like all the Rebecca Jerry. All the hits, all the bounces, yeah, all the movements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on fire! <laughs> all right. <laughs> Got the new angle. Yeah. Daniel hates bourbon. I hate Jed. The channel's over now. <laughs> uh, you get the wood burning kit though. Yes, definitely the wood burning kit. There's a little phenolic note in there. Yeah, it's like a little bit of the, the charred up, I don't know if it's popular outside of the States. Hell, I don't know if it's popular outside of the South. But there's these little kits where you mm -hmm. can get some, um, like some tracing paper. Yep. And you could, they have these templates, these designs, you could trace it on a plank of wood and then you have this, basically this, this thing you plug in and it makes the metal tip, like this pin shaped thing, really hot. Yeah. And you could just, burn into the wood. I can't believe wood. they gave that to children for Christmas <laughs> presents. No. It's like, it's a metal tip hot enough to char wood. Yeah. And they're like, here children. Yeah. Yeah, I I wish we had a bit more of that in the States. I also days. can count. This is how people learn. Yeah, they, I also can count how many times I came downstairs with a headache after working on models. Yeah. Because, oh, because of the, of the glue. glue. Yeah. Because I'm huddled over a, like a really intricate tiny piece with tweezers and just inhaling model glue. <laughs> there's like uh, there's a wood burning kit and there's also like this pecan praline type of vibe I could see that that yeah. sort of wax I would say maybe the char note is leaning into the wax heavily enough that that's where that phenolic note is yeah, coming from yeah it's like from. a sweet caramel waxiness it's nice it's nice ooh okay this is which one do we get to know which bread because this is one of the first things no oh batch number 15 I 01 I guess so here's what's cool, because this is bottled in bun, this is coming from a specific season of that distillery's mm -hmm. life. So if you followed the bottled in bond releases from a craft distillery, you might get to watch the progression of their palettes and development of wood and things like that. Right, I'm going in. I really like the nose. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's deep, it's thick chocolate cherry. Cherry. Very thick. Cream chocolate. That char note shows up. That's almost Cadbury's chocolate. That charm show, shows up, especially in the finish. It leaves you with that bear, uh, barrel bitter finish. Mm. Wow. That it has to be pot still. It has to be pot still. This much thickness? I don't know how you would get that much mouthfeel and viscosity. 
And viscosity, viscousness. I don't know, because so here's the thing. If I remember correctly, when we so tried the other wilderness trails, so thick. I don't remember liking them as much as I like this. Okay. Maybe I did. Roll tape. So this is rich. There's a rich, dark, woody molasses to this that is so nice. It's um. I really, really what, like this. There's a little. There's here's the thing. There's a lot going on, and it's also really nicely balanced. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't actually remember. Yeah. Chocolate, cherry, some pecan praline, like a little bit of a caramel. Mm -hmm. Then the wood burning kit, that's that kind of ashy, charred yeah. smokiness. That kind of wraps around the whole thing. And then it shows up most prominently really like this. on the finish when all of the other sweeter flavors had subsided. You're left with a little bit of a barrel bitter finish. Yeah, that is so it's really sweet. Nice. It's really nice. Um, can I tell you, I've been doing something for the last year on this channel that I've, and I'm enjoying it more and more Double every finish. single time. Double finish, though, because the barrel bitterness, that goes away, and... Sugars. Cherry. It's all sweetness that's yeah, left it's over. Yeah, it's like the pecan praline. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Um, I've been doing more and more of just, like, the just the overview research, so we have a sort of a handle on what it is we're drinking, but not really reading anyone else's tasting notes or thoughts, and then just trying to get first impressions all the time. And I'm enjoying it a lot more. And every once in a while it pays off in spades. Like this, I feel like because I know so little about the distillery itself, I'm getting to come to this a little bit more like ready to be interested mm -hmm. instead of this is probably craft. It's probably, you know what I mean? So you're basically joining my team. No. Yes. No, because I bring you more expertise to the table. I have realized. No. The skies have opened, the waters have parted, and you have blazed a trail towards the winning team. The winning team? I blazed a trail towards the winning team? Yes, well, you were on the Because the winning far. team had no trail. You were in the wilderness. I didn't get onto the trail. You, you were in the wilderness. A we're over classic. here being right, having a good time. <laughs> being right. Because that's what always happens when a group of people who are right, when they all get together, those yes. are always the funnest times. Yeah, they have the best time. Yeah. They're usually all divorced. <laughs> the right people. But they're always right. <laughs> yes, they themselves are right. <laughs> Self-righteous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I, I, I'm bringing to it, like, all the stuff that I'm thinking about production and process, but I really enjoy this kind of... And I also like that when people who love these things get into the comments, they give all of this context. Ooh, I dig it. You do need to be ready for that little bit of a... Um, it's got some beautiful sweetness that isn't completely foreign to the bourbon category. Right. But you do need to be ready for that wood burning kit, that little bit of a char, that little bit of a barrel bitterness. If you're down with a little bit of the barrel bitterness, know, you're, gonna, you're gonna have a good time. Every sip, that barrel bitterness subsides more. Mm. So I, I'm on my third, fourth sip, and each time I get more and more sweetness. It, keep, it keeps kicking into high gear about three fourths of a liter. You want a little water? Meh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What do you think is going to happen? It's going to turn into scotch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like scotch Jesus. A little bit of water turns, turn that bourbon turns scotch. into crown royal. Yeah. <laughs> now the nose didn't change that much. It did. It became more oily. I guess I could see what you mean by that. Yeah. I'm still finding all the same things. I though. was acclimating. Mm -hmm. You put a little water in there and then it woke up a lot of like the oily. The brown sugar is a little bit more prominent now. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a little more crunchy, gritty depth to it with a little bit of water. I think I like it without. I think I like it with. It was it was more recognizably mm -hmm. layered. I could pick out mm -hmm. like uh, some praline and some cherry and some chocolate. Now it seems like it just kind of melted those things together. They're still there, but they're less defined. Yeah, but I'm getting a little more spiky drama from the back half of that. With the water added. Spiky, do you like the spiky drama? I like the spiky drama. He likes the spiky drama, he says, with the spiky drama there. Casey Owens, I've heard people taking down, talking down on blended whiskeys recently. I would like to submit that if you aren't drinking a single barrel, you are drinking a blended whiskey, as all distilleries blend different barrels together before bottling. Is this a good way to silence the snobbery? It's not even bother, man. Let people do what they want to do. Uh, well, they, they want to talk down to blended scotch? Yeah. Let them talk down to blended scotch? We just said whiskeys, but again, you had to make it about scotch. 
No, that's just blend. They're talking about blends. Because he's a No, I think in general, what is you just surprising. You gotta make it about the scotch. Yeah. I think every what is surprising. time. Hey, this is bourbon. So I'm let me talk to, to you about question. scotch. Have you heard about scotch? My lord and savior. Scotch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Have you heard the good news you about me. scotch? <laughs> no, I think every. Uh, what is surprising to me is how few people realize that all whiskey is blended unless it says single barrel. Yeah. That's like even a bourbon that they love. Like, oh, this is a Four Roses small batch. Yeah, that's a, a tons of barrels in that. Yeah. Right? And they're like, wait, what do you mean? Like, yeah, yeah. No, that's blended. It's just all blended at the distillery. McAllen 12 is blended. It's right. just all blended at the distillery. Well, that's one of the most fun parts of that once you get into whiskey and you mm. realize that single barrels are a thing. And then you realize that the recognizable difference from barrel to barrel. Mm -hmm. So you can find like a handful of your favorite brands. It's like, yeah. all right, well, let's go exploring what happens in individual barrels from that distillery. I think it's super cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but in terms of uh, people realizing that they're blending it in-house, well, eh, who cares? Um, even in like your fairly recent Tribe episode we did, we're talking about the single malt that we made. Mm -hmm. And there was like a moment where Emma's talking about blending the barrels to make this single malt. Mm -hmm. We're talking about our own barrels. Yeah. But there's still a handful of people in the comments that's like, wait a minute, I thought you, this was just like a, your single malt whiskey. How is this a blend? Yep. So, you know, it's in-house. Our barrel, single yeah, distillery. Yeah. yeah. Michael Stone, has anyone ever mooched off Rex and lived to talk about it? She, yeah, dude, man. People mooch off me all the time. I was having a conversation with the hell of an MB over there on Friday. Uh, we're talking about all kinds of stuff. And I didn't want to interrupt the conversation for one of us to go stand in line. So I bought him a drink. And uh, you're not supposed to do this. But uh, they brought it to the table. And, of course, Richard, like, he bitched at me. Our bartender is like, you're not supposed to do this. You think you own the place? <laughs> but he said that with drink in hand, so it's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. So yeah, 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 yeah. They'd be mooching off of me, and then like Brianna's mooching off of me. <sighs> and then uh, I'm I give you whiskeys like monthly. Just I'll go out to the store and I just will spend. You know how Wait, whenever, what? where do where do you leave them? You haven't been getting these whiskeys. No, I still get all the credit for all of the whiskeys. There had to have been like I don't know seventy at this point. Of these whiskeys that I would just stand no. in the aisle of the store just thinking, what would Daniel like? Budget is of no importance. I just want to find something nice for Daniel. Yeah. And I would I would leave it where I know you would find it, but apparently you never found it. Which is that spot. Welcome to the whiskey vault. No. <laughs> <laughs> you have to end one before you can start one. <laughs> Uh, I actually really like this. Yeah, me too. It's well put together, mm -hmm. nicely balanced, and what was the proof on that, by the way? 50%. Oh, bottle number one. Oh, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, and fight for a friend. You steal me, you steal your liver's heart. And if you drink, may you drink, drink with us. us.